This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Okay, one of my favourite amps in the Helix for sure is the Mattress DC30 and 3.5 means a couple of different things for it. Most of them positive, one of them slightly negative. Now this preset I've got both channels in here and what I'm doing is kind of just switching them with this one here so that's like an amp switch type channel. The real amp itself has two channels and I think the second one is a little bit different to, to a box it's got some different things going on anyway I'll show you through some of that stuff the one negative is that we no longer have the matchless uh, cab in here so if you don't know the matchless DC 30 uh, the combo version normally comes in 2x12 and it has two mismatched uh, speakers and the way that I used to set this up was to have the same mic but on different speakers so you, it, it comes in like two cabs essentially but what we do have, um, I chose the Blue Bell, so this is kind of a classic Vox Alnico Blue type speaker um, with the 57 dynamic 5.9 away, 1 inch distance and all on axis, low cut 100, high cut off. And then because the other speakers in there are 25 and 30, I thought let's try a greenback 25. Um, Obviously this is in a 4x12, but I'm not sure it makes a huge amount of difference. Uh, 160 ribbon, because this is, you know, quite a, a bright amp anyway, and the cap edge. And then, I don't have either of those panned or anything. Um, so what you kind of get, if I take this down lowish, so our channel 1 at the moment, uh, we got the drive at 6, bass at 5, the cut is the same as like on a Vox, the treble and presence aren't on the real amp as far as I can remember, uh, so the presence I leave off and treble at 5, um, but essentially at 6 with a strat you get this kind of thing. Uh, super touch responsive. The cut, I've got a 0 0.1 there, this will start to roll off the top end.
but I, I quite like that all the way open and you know use the cab to get kind of darker tones if you want them but it is a Vox as well let's not forget you know a Vox style amp so you're gonna want I think some amount of chime to me it sounds like it's got a little bit more uh, of a a hefty kind of midsection than the the Vox AC30 I, I think it sounds a bit more mid-pushed now the channel 2 uh, is interesting in a few different ways so I've got the drive here at 10 uh, you get this kind of thing Now, this tone thing is a six-way switch, and you can hear what it does. Basically, at six, it's all the way open, and you have as much bass as the amp has. And you roll it off. So if you were doing kind of rhythm based playing, you know, you're using this as your crunch channel, I think having lower tone settings might suit yourself better. And if you were using it for lead stuff, maybe slightly higher settings. Um, and all the way up, you kind of get a little bit of fuzzy stuff going on as well, right? So obviously that's like a fully kind of open amp singing and, and stuff, you know, as you turn the drive down. This is, I guess, you would think about this as the top boost kind of channel, right? And I'm probably using this cut because I typically have quite a lot of drive. Doing the same job again, just kind of rolling off the top end. Again, tighter tones if you do this kind of thing. Darker tones if you do this sort of thing. And you know, if you want less woof, you're gonna probably want something maybe kind of middling. Probably a little bit more gain than you get on a real Vox as well because that is fairly, um, I'd say, singing. Other things we could do with this, could we add in delay? It looks to me like we can. So even though we're using two amps here, I think the matchless ones don't actually use a ton of DSP. Um, so you could even boost the front end if you wanted to something that might work really well might be a tube screamer for channel one um, let's just try this that's not what I wanted tube screamer 
and something like that. So you'd get. But I think maybe something less mid push might even be better because um, it does seem to me like this is more kind of midi than a, a, a vox so if I had a Timmy for example this might work even better because it has less of a, a pronounced mid Yeah, that works really nicely um, and then other things that we could do add in what have we got delay wise um, uh, mod chorus echo let's try something let's go 500 low cut I get down there a bit and scale 75 chorus very slow. So yeah, I think, especially now, now that you can fit both of these in comfortably to a preset, I think there's no reason that I wouldn't use those. I probably wouldn't even necessarily need the drive aspect of it. Um, you can also fit in the delay and a reverb. So, I mean, for me, it's it's never been more usable than it is now. That's the JC Matches 3.5 is the name of that preset. Um, let me know in the comments if you want me to drop it into the folder. I'll be happy to do so. Um, Matteo Mancuso actually uses the matchless in his main preset, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I think worth another look. Um, the only downside, we don't have the, the cab to go with it yet, but I think in the future that will be a thing that we can do. I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers for now.